and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting a fox. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Light pink, light blue, white, orange, black, some paper, and your fingers. Don't forget, share your paintings with me on Instagram. Use the hashtag art for kids to be featured as the artist of the week. Now let's begin. First thing, we're gonna start with the ears. We're gonna go in with this pink, this light pink, and we're gonna do two triangles. These are going to be our ears. We're doing the ears first because we want to do the background areas that we are going to cover up with fur. And so this is going to be the only real furless spot. So if we get it a little messy, that's okay. So we're gonna go in and do two triangles with a little bit of space in between, and these are going to be our ears, in with the pink, like so. And now what we're going to do is go into our orange. We're gonna touch into our orange, make sure that we have our finger loaded up, and we are going to trace around the ears. But first, I'm actually going to do a little space in between. That's going to be where the head is. Okay, and ears are usually a little bit more forward on the head, so now I'm going to trace right around these ears with my orange paint. And if I cover up the pink and I smudge it a little bit, that's okay, I'll just go right back over, right back over, and we're getting these ears in. Ears are very distinctive for foxes, ears and tails. Fox tails are also very distinctive. I love the bright orange color of foxes, though I think it's just, they're such a cute animal, um, beautiful animal, beautiful fur, and I'm just a really big fan of foxes. And I think that this is going to make a super adorable painting that I think that you guys will like as well. It's just so easy to do. All right, so we're gonna go right around the ear, like so. And now I'm going to start, I'm gonna do the top of a heart, like right here. I'm gonna make kind of like the top of a heart. So one, and the top of a heart right here as well. So it's like the start of a heart, but we're not finishing the heart. What we're going to do instead is we're actually going to make kind of a round area, like so. We're just gonna do another round area and that's going to be the top of the face. This is going to be where the fox's whiskers are because foxes have orange and white. They've got these white whiskers and then they've got a white bib. So we are going to do that. And we're just going to fill this in with our orange color like so. It's really not so difficult. Anyone can do this, you can do this. Very easy, and this is going to be so cute. Your mom will want to hang it up on her fridge. I want to hang this up on my fridge after all is said and done. We're gonna continue on and do all of the orange so then we can go back and do our white over top of it because I want the whiskers to stand out over top of his body. So what I'm gonna do now is make his shoulders. So I'm gonna make two circles, one on either side, just going around with my finger, and those are gonna be his shoulders. And then we're going to make his arms. When you think of a body, you have a shoulder, ball, joint, and then you have the muscles of the arms. So what I'm gonna do is an arm muscle looks kinda of like an oval, because you got the bone, like so. You got your arm bones connected to the shoulder bone, and then you've got the muscles on top of that, like so. And then you have this, the fur and, well, the skin and the fur, the skin and the fur. So if you start thinking about how bodies are made up like this, it's actually, it becomes a lot easier to paint bodies and things like this. So we have our shoulders and we have the first part of our arms. I'm gonna actually cut it off right there because you know, maybe he's hiding in some snow. I don't know, we'll figure that out. 
use your imagination. So thinking about boxes, the next thing I'm gonna do is clean off my finger really well. I want all of that orange gone if I can, and I'm going to start with our light blue. And this is going to actually counteract the orange. If you think about orange and blue, they're very opposite colors. They're very complementary. They help each other look really beautiful, but we don't want our, our white to have a tinge of orange in it because then it would all just kind of blend together and look muddy. So we want our white to be very, very white. And one way that we do that is by using blue. So we're gonna go in with our light blue and we're gonna kind of trace this top of the heart like so, and I'm gonna carry it over. We're gonna give them some like fun little whisker detail on the side. So that is going to be his whiskers. Let's give him some big like mustachios. Some big old mustachios, like so. I'm not going to fill the whole thing in. I'm going to leave the center white because I want it to be the whitest part of the the whole mustachio, the whole whiskers, because we want to leave that white so that we don't get any blue in there and that'll really make that white pop. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just give it a little, little bit of extra there. Foxes are such interesting creatures. They live in dens and they have families. They have a interesting history too but they're such such beautiful creatures i really i love how in a lot of asian countries a lot of asian cultures actually foxes are animals in mythology all right so we're gonna make his his um his bib right here his little chest hair so we're just gonna carry this down so it's like like you're almost making a santa beard looking thing. You got the, the mustache and you got this area right here that is the chest. I'm going to fill this in a little bit because this is where a lot of the shadow is going to be. Our blue is also going to work like our shadow and is really going to just make everything that's bright stand out tremendously. So going into my white, I'm actually going to start in the center of the circles. I'm just going to dot some white into the center because these are the parts that I want to be the brightest, the whitest. I don't want the blue to actually blend in that area too much, but I'm going to start off in the center and then taking the paint on the edges, I'm going to kind of just blend it out like so. And this is going to give us that effect that we are trying to create of our fox. Do the white in the center, and then just blend it out. Make sure that we keep our centers white. Yeah, just like that. You see? You see what I'm doing? That's going to make everything pop really nicely. Just make sure that the center stays the whitest, stays super white, so that we get that really great effect in there. And I'm gonna figure out, this is gonna kind of be where his mouth is, right there. Just in my mind, figuring that out. And I'm actually going to touch in to a little bit of this black. I'm gonna take some white, and I'm gonna make a really pale gray color. Hmm, about that, about like that. And I'm just gonna kind of figure in, put in a little bit of where his mouth is going to be. I'm gonna throw a little bit in here too, into his fur down here. Just gonna add a little bit of extra dimension, maybe right here on his, yeah, like so. I'm gonna actually touch a little bit of the black because this is going to be his mouth. I want him to have a really cute mouth, like so. That's gonna be his mouth, and now we're gonna make his nose. He needs to have nose and an eye. Well, two eyes. So I'm gonna take my finger, put a lot of black on that, and I'm just gonna give him a big, like, button nose right here, just like so. 
He's got a nose, and we're gonna give him two eyes. I'm gonna do very similar, just little circles with my finger where the eyes are gonna go, like so. He's got two eyes, and he's got a big old nose, and he's got some fur. So now, I'm gonna actually go in with my white, and I'm going to fill in. I'm just gonna cover over some color over some of this black. I don't want the black to be so stark right here. And if I go very lightly, I can do that, like so. And now I'm gonna touch into the white and I'm gonna get this nice little peak. This peak gives us a lot of power. With this peak, we can go and do very pointed dotty things, or we can just drag a little bit of paint where we want it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna lightly touch his nose and I'm just gonna drag that peak and give his nose just a nice little highlight, like so. And see, I already have some black in my white paint, so I'm gonna clean that off, clean that off, and then I'm gonna go back in with another peak of white, and I'm going to do some really cute anime-inspired eyes, cartoon-inspired eyes. So taking this peak, I'm gonna just touch his eye and kind of push down a little bit, and then pick up. Clean my finger off, grab some white in a peak, go to about the same place on the other eye. I'm going to touch, push down, and pick up. So what that does is that gives us the very shiny eyes. And I'm gonna actually do a few other things. I'm gonna go in with a pencil. Um, you can do this with almost anything that's sharp and pointy or something that you can dot or get a little, little bit of a point to. And I'm just, my fingers are just a little too thick for this. I'm gonna dot and I'm gonna kind of roll the paint and try to give just a little bit of extra shine. So I'm gonna dot, cause my paint is really thick. So I'm gonna dot and lift up or dot and roll, whatever is going to help you get that effect that you want. And I'm gonna take this actually and just do a few dots on each ear, like so. I'm gonna do three dots. And then I'm gonna take my finger, which is mostly clean, and I'm just gonna kind of swipe up. And that's gonna give the impression that there's fur in his ears. So he's got some furry ears. I'm gonna actually give him a little, little swirl on top of his head too. So I'm gonna take some orange on my finger and I'm gonna kind of do just like a little, like a little S almost. Like a little S on top of his head. But you can't see all of the S cause some of it is in with the other orange. I'm gonna take some white and mix the white with the orange, get a little bit of a lighter color, and I'm just gonna touch on that as a little bit. Just give a little bit of a highlight right there. And using my highlight color, I'm just going to throw a few highlights in. We'll throw some on his, his face, like so. A little bit on the ear. Let's give him a little bit of a highlight on his shoulder too. And we can't forget his nose because foxes have really long noses. So let's give him just a little bit of a highlight there. Maybe one here as well. Okay. Ta-da! There you have it. There is our fox. What do you guys think? Are you a fan? Do you like the fox? Do you think he's pretty cute? I think that he is adorable. I hope that you really enjoy painting along with me today. And until next time, bye!